Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quick and easy poll in Outlook 365. You can get up an instant real-time poll in just seconds, right within your email message. It's super simple. Just add your question and multiple choice options in the body of your email. When you send it out, recipient can vote directly in your email and click a handy link to vote in their browser. The best part, you can instant see the poll results on the voting card, making it breeze together and analyze feedback. Whether you are planning a team meeting, collecting preferences or just getting some quick options. This feature is incredibly useful. So stay tuned and learn how to use this fantastic feature to make your email communication more interactive and engaging. If you have an individual plan for Microsoft 365, such as Microsoft 365 Personal or 365 Family, you are typically won't have the access of all the advanced features available in business or on enterprises plans. So let's get started. So let's get started. So let's start with Outlook on the web. Simply type outlook.com into your browser address bar to get started so i have already logged in so you will need to enter your username and password to access your account i'm currently logged in with my individual microsoft 365 plan to create a new email click on the new email located at the top left corner of your screen for the better experience I recommend clicking on the expander to open the new email in a separate window. Once your new email window is maximized, next navigate to the insert tab. Here you will check out quick poll in the add-in section. Click on it. You will see a navigation section on the right open. This says this add-in is currently unavailable for this customer account to use it switch to the work or school account it means this feature is not accessible with the personal account to use the pool feature you will need to subscribe to the work or school account luckily i have a work account so i will switch to that now after logging in with my work account i will follow the same steps Click on the new email. Now maximize the window for the better view and go to the insert tab. Click on this downward arrow and change it to classic ribbon. That will show you all the options very easily. Put your cursor on the message body to enable all the options over here. Now go to the insert tab. Now you should see the pool option available. To create a quick pool in your email, follow these simple steps. In your message body, you will find an option to create a pool. In your message body, you will find the option to create a pool. Now, at the top of your setup window, you will see multiple choice option with the downward arrow. Click on it to open the downward list. And this list consists of several options. First is multiple choice, second is quiz, third is word cloud, fourth is rating, and fifth is ranking. For this example, we will stick with multiple choice. This option allows you to ask your recipient a question and provide them a several answer choice. So enter your question in the designated field. For instance, I type what day works best for your weekly team meetings now after typing this question microsoft will automatically suggest possible answers you can select from these suggestions or type your own options manually here. For instance, you can add options like 
Monday. Wednesday, um, I also had Thursday and last Friday. So if you need more options, click on more options here. To remove any option, simply use this delete button next to it. So I remove this fifth one. By default, recipient can only select one answer. If you want to allow multiple selections, enable the multiple selection toggle. You can also add more questions to the poll. Click add questions here and choose from the options like all these options here. Let's add the rating question. How would you rate the previous meeting and its outcome? So you can select the rating symbol with the star being a default choice. Other options include light bulb, flag, and ribbon symbols, heart, thumbs up, and few other options here. Once you added your question, click preview to see how your poll will look to recipient. You can test the poll by selecting answers and submitting them. So if you need to make any changes, click on edit poll to modify your questions or add new ones. Finally, enter the email address of your recipients, add any CCs, subject and email content on the email message body and click send. I will now send this email to myself. So I enter my own email address here and show you how the poll appears to the recipient and how you can check the results after submission. So I switch to another account where I receive the email containing the poll. So here is my email I created from my work email address. Here what I did. I opened the email and click on the poll link which redirect me to the office form website. The form I created was already here. As a recipient, I selected my answers. So I simply select this for the question, what day work best for your weekly team meeting? I choose Wednesday. And for the second question, how would you rate the previous meeting and its outcomes? I select four star and submit my response by clicking on the this vote button. Your response was submitted. So this is what your recipients will do when they receive your poll. Now let's move on to the analyzing the results. Once recipient have submitted their responses, go to Microsoft Forms and log in with your work email address. So I am on my work email address on the Microsoft Forms. On the Microsoft Form interface, scroll down and find pool you created. Click on the pool to view it. Click on the response tab to see the collected data. You will find number of responses, the average time taken to complete the pool and the status summary. The results are displayed in a graph format. For example, you will see the distribution of responses for the question. What days work best for the weekly team meeting with options like Monday, Wednesday and Friday. You can also see the rating given by recipients for the question about the previous meeting outcome. To further analyze the data, you can download the results in an Excel sheet. Additionally, you can preview how your question look on different devices, ensuring a good user experience for your recipient, whether they use desktop or mobile device. So that way you can very easily create a pool in Microsoft Outlook with your work or school account. So if you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. 
and please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day